Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you guys the Cat Claw Cowl. And don't pay any attention to the armor costume, it's just there for cosmetic purposes. And we'll go ahead and take a closer look at the cowl. And as you can see, it's got some cat eyes on the front there. And it's got some little stitch marks going across it, kind of giving it a homespun look, you could say. And there's a cool orange pattern that goes across the top and some little teethies there. There's also a cool little scarf on the bottom and on the back of the cowl. There are some stitch marks running up the ears and on the back of the head. And there's also that cool orange pattern on the back as well. And I'd have to say that this cowl is pretty much one of my favorite costume pieces these days. And of course, before we go any further into the video, we'll be taking a closer look at some of the Cat Claw Cowl stats. So the cowl offers shadow defense. It also offers some freeze resistance. And for weapon bonuses, it offers a sword attack speed increase of low. And it also offers a sword damage bonus of low. So it's a pretty good looking piece of armor, and it also offers some decent stats. Now let's take a look at that sword damage bonus of low and see what it actually does. And now we're taking a look at it without the damage bonus that the Cat Claw Cow offers. And we're getting about 311 damage with each first swipe of the Divine Avenger. Now we're going to test it with the attack damage of low, with the Cat Claw Cow and we'll see actually how much of a difference it makes. It's not going to be big though. And right there we are dealing 335 damage. So if we compare that to our previous sword damage without the damage bonus, we'll see that with the cat we got 335 and without it we got 311 and that only ends up being a 24 damage bonus and that's not really that great. But you do have to remember that the cowl also offers that attack speed increase of low but an attack speed increase of low is hardly noticeable. So the really, really the only thing that it has going for it is that shadow defense and the freeze resistance. But if you couple the cowl with some good armor, you're sure to come up with a decent combination eventually. Now if you do want the cat claw cowl, you'll first have to come to the more craft station. And it's a little bit different than crafting a regular item. So first off, we'll head to the left over here. And we'll talk to this little guy. And to start off the Cat Claw Cowl, or any Cat Cowl, you'll first have to buy the 3 star version for 50 Ancient Page Tokens. Now after you buy the 3 star version from this little guy, you'll have to buy the Cat Tribe Fetish Material for the higher starred versions. Once you have the 3 star version heated up to level 5, you can come over here and craft the 4 star version. And then once you craft the 4 star version, you can go about crafting the 5 star version. And those same steps apply to any cat cow that you plan on crafting. So, thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you guys in Spiral Nights.